Hello everyone, this is Cameron C here. Today, I'm actually just going to be re um, the redoing um, Baby Van Gogh. For some reasons why, because um, honestly, my vi the video I made yesterday was really crap. It was just crap, okay? Like, my mic was mute for um, at one point for most of the video, and then a lot of interruptions, and then... Yeah, it's just, it was nuts, and I know I said I didn't have the time to do it, but you know what? Um, my mom said that today I actually had um, a chance to do it, so she let me do it today. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to redo this, and I will delete the other one, the other video, even if it has like seven likes or something. I don't care about that. I just want to redo this video so it can view it a little better. But yeah, um, just pretend that um, other video didn't exist in the first place. Alright, so we got one VHS, two DVDs, one book, um, two puppets, and 12 toys. So without further ado, let's take a look at the VHS first. I'm just making breakfast. So first up we got Baby Van Gogh 2000, two VHS, front, back. Bottom, side, other side, top. This is a page. And here's the VHS tape. And then print date was March 16th, 2002. Move that off to the side. Next up, we got two baby Van, two baby Van Goghs, two thousand two. No, not two thousand two. Two thousand three DVDs. First up, we got the one with the magnet. Both the, are the same discs, though. Well, let's take a look at the one that doesn't have the magnet. Both the same thing, though. Actually, I don't think I've actually showed you guys the one with the magnet. I'm pretty sure that was like crap. Let me just show you that again, just in case it doesn't show. So here it is. Right. Next up, we got the book. Roll the colors. Now, I actually used to have a Baby Shakespeare one that's just like this, but I haven't found it in, like, years. Also, this goes in the order of the rainbow, not, like, the one in the video. But, yeah, I just, like, tell... It just... You know, I'm not going to read this, but it does, on this side, it does tell you, like, the information about, like, what the painting is and who painted it. So we got the 14 sunflowers in a vase. Um, I don't know all the paintings' names, but oh, we got this one. Starry Nights, which I actually do have a poster of it in my room, but I didn't... I'm not going to put it in the review, though, because, you know, obviously. Then we got purple. Yeah. Alright. So, next up we got puppets. Actually, wait, hang on a second before I do anything else. Alright, there we go. Much better. We got the two puppets. We got a kid's two, and we got a rare scrubbed up puppet. So let's take a look at the um, Kiss 2 Puppet first. Vincent Van Gogh. I actually had this for like almost 10 years because I actually got this back in like 2011. Pretty sure my mom got it off of Amazon or something. It's not. I actually do hate the Kiss 2 versions too of these puppets. But, um, you know, I, like. I mean, it's a little special to me, though, because, I, you know, I had it for a long time. But I do hate the Kids 2 Puppets in general, though. Anyways, it has uh, the white beard, um, which is, like, I don't even know what material that is. You guys let me know in the comments if you guys know what material that is, because I really don't even know. Then we got the horns, and then right here, and the um, ears, which are also made, um, which are also... Having that like double or triple thing. Yeah. You can obviously tell it's Kisu because of the eyes. But uh, yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure you guys all knew that. 
I know, but still. Alright, that's enough with the big Django. Alright, next we got my le um, rarest BE puppet, not including like bull the bulldog or the rooster puppet or anything. The Morris Moose. Now I know that Baby Goat has the original one, but I just want to point out, oh, oh god. I don't really want to do that, I don't want to make it worse, but this is Morris Moose. Um, this is, um, not the original one, but I really do not care, um, it's more rare and more special to me, but, yeah. As you know, it does have a little bit of rip on the, um, bottom, and I don't really want that to happen to any of my other puppets. But I'm gonna try my best to, uh, do my best on it. You know, keep it in the best condition. No torns on the back or anything. Just, I really wish that find a way to keep this puppet like in good condition not get to say great all right <clears throat> now it's time for the moment you all been waiting for toys first up we got my favorite toy in video van go carlos cactus all right so i got this last year for easter have not found the um, yellow one on eBay ever since. Actually, I, that's a lie, because I did find the yellow one in a lot with the red or orange-ish one. I am a Sometimes it just does this. Alright, let's turn you off. It does move sometimes, but... It's just sometimes, other times it's like this. I really wish it could um, actually like move it like its proper self though. But I'm gonna try to fix it though. I'll try my best to see if I can fix this thing. All right, let's move off. Let's move that, that off to the side. Next up we got the wind up hopping chick. Not exact, but I really do not care. I got this for Easter back, I don't even know when, 2014 or 15, maybe 2016. really don't remember, but I do remember I did get this for Easter at one point. And it just may not be exact, but it still has the same thing. So I'm still going to include it. But still, we're not done with wind-ups yet, because, uh, here we have another one of my favorite toys from Van Gogh, Creeping Caterpillar. Um, this one I actually got for a bit on eBay back in 2017. Oh, I'm showing it. <laughs> and yes, that was a piece of cheese. Um, I got this back in 2017 for a bid. Um, and I really actually did want this so bad because it was one of my most wanted toys from Bango at that time. It was possibly like, I don't know, my top 10 back then. And th remember, this was actually before I got the magic lock and all that stuff. But yeah, this was still in my like top 10. And I actually did want it so bad. I tried looking for some on eBay. And, you know, I just looked up, like, wind-up inchworm, and then all of a sudden I did get a few results, like a Canadian result. Got that one result where it's, where it's like, $100, which is still on eBay right now. Seriously, how come the sellers did not even do anything about that, though? But, yeah, it does wind up, but I'm actually a little lazy to do so. But don't you worry. I do have a free clip of it that I will send on YouTube soon, the one with the black screen. You guys seen it before, I'm pretty sure. If you saw the pictures in an exhibit, um, this video I did. Yeah, let's move on to the um, next one, which is actually my rarest, one of my rarest toys from Van Gogh so far. Happy Color. Got this from the eBay France. I think Sam was originally going to get this, but, um, looked like I was fast enough to get it than him. And I actually got it with my birthday money. Um, and 
Let me just say this out loud right now. I'm was I'm actually very glad I actually have this. Okay, I'm actually very glad. Uh, this is kind of something I've been wanting for quite a while. Back then, and I actually did manage to get one. Like, and I was like, huh, you know what? That thing's been on eBay for like a very long time. I don't know who, I don't know who's gonna get it or when they're gonna get it. And I was like, you know what? I'll get it. So I got it, and yeah, less than two weeks, it just came to my house. What are you waiting? Hmm? What are you waiting? Sorry, that was my dog, but here, let me just play it a little bit for you guys. Also, one other thing. Not sure how they actually did this, but if you guys know how they moved the toy, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm saying, uh, what I'm trying to say here. How do they move the toy? Like, if anyone knows or pretty sure they know, then let me know in the comment section below. It's literally, they did it to like Tagly, the Woozit, this, Sandy Sea Crab, I think. A lot of those. Next up, we got the green Alien Orbiter. I got this for my one year anniversary. And I got it for like 24 bucks on eBay. Quite a lot of money for this one gyro toy, but I guess it's kind of worth it. I mean, there was one on eBay that was actually in my state that was a lot of money. Um, it was like 150 bucks, and it came with the base and all that stuff. Like, new and packaged, but I can see why they put it up for that much money, though. Alright, so, let me just blow it in here. Plus, this one's not even chipped at all. It also works better than the um, other one, too. The gray one I own. All I just use for this is just use it like a gyroscope base. But, yeah. Next up, we got possibly one of the most common toys in BE. The Jack in the Box. This is not the original one, but... So, I really, like I said before, I don't really care. Again, really. Alright, so, you guys are probably wondering, like, yeah, this is exact. What are you talking about? Think again. This ha look, at, look at the handle, and then look at the one in the video. The one in the video has a ball, and then this one just has, like, I don't even know what you call this, like, a sphere type handle. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it, that's what it's called. But so fun fact, I did used to have the one with the ball. <coughs> <coughs> and I don't know how rare the um one with the ball is. I'm pretty sure it's common though. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys um, know if it is rare or not. Because I do want to know if it is or if it's not. All right, so. Next up, before I forget, actually, yeah, we got the sand picture. I actually have two of them. I gave one to my sister, but, and I was originally going to sell that one on eBay, but then, like, you know what, she was like, like, don't, don't, okay, don't. And I'm pretty sure I would have gotten some money for that thing. Who is that? Jackson, is that you? Yes, but... Heard out where the dogs um, make that noise, but still, this is um, the original one from Van Gogh. I actually got this at Dave and Buster's at one point. It was the same Dave and Buster's as I got the flipping frog from uh, Neighborhood Animals. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, it's, it's actually very fun to, you know what, let me just see if I can, because I don't think the liquid's actually going down that much, just right now. 
still gonna make a free clip of this. I has, I actually still cannot even believe I actually did not have a chance to do one yet. I'm just not even sure how it's actually possible for almost all the balls to appear on there. And I'm gonna have to figure that out. How that how that's even possible. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get this fixed. But for now, let's just move on to the next story. I actually did forget to actually review this. Um, almost forgot to review this at that point, but here, let's just do it right now. Doodle Top. It's actually the next one on the list. Um, I actually, this is not exact, but this is like the new version. It does work. Um, fun fact, I did, I think I did used to have the original version. I mean, when I say the original, I think I mean, I mean the purple one. And I did, and I do have, um, um, an original one from the video, although it's blue, and that one's broken. I'm not going to give out, like, obvious reasons, because then I'll probably make the video a little longer. <coughs> but yeah, that's really how you do it. It kind of spends, like, the hydrogen out a little bit. Oh, wow, look, and it actually stopped on, like, literally, I'm not even joking. It's crazy. Don't think uh, it would actually do that, but so that's kind of cool. So the new versions that are out are literally just the super stacking top like. All right, so let's move on to fourth to last toy, which is another one of my rarest toys from the video, the yo-yo top. Not exact, but I don't care. It's the closest one that I can actually get to. Got this back in 2017. I don't remember if it was a bit or not, but... <coughs> <coughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It does work still. It's also another toy that I still have not made a free clip yet. Actually, a lot of these toys right here I have not made a free clip of yet at all. Which I will possibly do soon. Starting with Carlos Cactus once, you know, I get, you know, that thing fixed. It's going to take forever because I've actually experienced that a lot of times. And, you know, it just doesn't, I just feel like it just doesn't work at all. But still. Yeah, let's see other top. All right, we got another, and this is possibly the last one of my rarest toys, the Seagull Pendulum. I'm not sure if you guys see that Just move a little bit. Over. All right, there we go. Much better. This is the exact, this is the original one from the video. Um, I know that VTG also owns this, but um, he owns the orange version. Um, but yeah. I do know that I did get mine on Office Playground back in uh, 2015. It was originally supposed to be for Christmas, but, um, you know, my mom said I have it early. Um, and the, um, Seagull Pendulum was not the only one that actually did come in the box in that day. <coughs> I also had the Happy Circle and the, um, Four Color Box, too, from Baby Beethoven. Yeah, um, I did get more, but, uh, those were, like, the first four, the, um, first three that did arrive early, but, still. I'm actually really glad I got this. Like, it's, a, it's actually really, like, how would you guys feel if there was a toy that got discontinued that had a chance on, like, a website? Like, that you guys thought was rare, but then it's, like, not rare for a limited time, but then it's, like, rare again. Crazy, huh? Let's move on to second to last toy. So we got the Pachinko. Not the exact, but I still do not care. I, I did used to have the blue one, though. Um, but um, one day I did realize that it was leaking water and, like, the top of this thing broke off. And so my mom had to throw it away. And then this was like around the same time as I got the Seagull Pendulum, Four Color Box, and Happy Circle. Um, but actually, my mom did get me another one for Christmas. Might actually need another one soon because, you know, this one's fading. 
who knows? Maybe it might become like the a blue version instead. Maybe I'm, I'm just saying it's still green, but still. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Last but not least, Dolphin Kinetic from. There we go. Yep, this is the Dolphin Kinetic. Not sure if this is the original one from the video. I'm guessing it is. Just because, you know, like, the form of the dolphins, like, and then, like, the color of it. Especially the ball, too. Like, I might do, like, a comparison between that and the uh, one from the video. Not gonna do it right now, though, because I'm a little lazy. But I'm guessing this is the original one from the video. One thing that, um, I'm pretty sure you all noticed this, but mine does not have, um, like a base, like a magnetic base on the bottom. I really don't even know how to pronounce that, um, but mine does not have a magnet on the bottom. Like, it doesn't have a base where, you know, it just has a stand and all that stuff. Mine is just all this, which I think is pretty, really cool. I actually just do this forever. I got this um, back in 2017, right after when I was getting my surgery done. I got this for like six bucks on eBay, which I actually think is a really good price for this um, kinetic. I actually do think it's really cool. I can actually do this forever, but I have to end this video at some point, but still. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Not sure which one I'm going to have to cover next, but I'm going to have to sh um, double check. <coughs> <coughs> if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.